Hi, my name is Randy Fay. I'm the maintainer of DDEV Local. And I just want to show you one of the most amazing things that's happened to DDEV in a long time. Shawl, Ofer Shawl has uh, created an integration of DDEV with Gitpod. So we're going to walk through and show how you can have DDEV completely web based and collaborative with your collaborators. So I'm just going to try to do the quick and easy version and hope that it works out right. Um, let's go. First of all, we need to have uh, be logged into Gitpod. So I'm just going to log into Gitpod with um, with my GitHub setup. Um, so I'm signed up for Gitpod. Now I'm going to enable feature preview. I think I've already got it enabled. So here's enable feature preview here. I'm just going through the I'm just going through the checklist here um, at github.com shawl slash ddev gitpod ddev gitpod. Okay, now I am going to just click this link. Take a look at this. I am just going to click this link. This is a combined link of gitpod.io pound and a link to shawl's um, ddev gitpod repository. So here we are. And it is setting up uh, setting up DDEV and Gitpod for us right here. And now you see it um, going through and pulling the images that it needs. It's the same as a first-time DDEV startup, because it is a first-time DDEV startup. This is a completely clean environment. And here our project is up, um, and it shows us the URLs we can use, but there's a lot of extraneous ones. So let's just look back at the instructions. Um, he suggests, and let, me, let me just mention here, what we're seeing is a full VS Code here in the cloud. So we have VS Code right here. This whole project is here. This could be your project. This is a Drupal 9 project. Um, it's here. You can do everything you would with a normal Drupal 9 project. Um, so um, we got it all pulled. And his suggestion is to use GPURL 8080 because he's got it set up on port 8080. So I'm going to do that, GPURL port 8080. And I can just uh, command click on that. And here I am installing Drupal on this project that we just created. And look how snappy it is. It's a quick install. It's, uh, it's astonishing. It's really good. You can, uh, 
you could do he su he suggests do the do the ddev drush si same thing there we are we got the whole thing he goes on to show how to do uh, x debug so you can x debug with your vs code here and here it all is and here's the readme that suggests how it all works and we have uh, drupal 9 right here in front of us working perfectly um, there are you know there's bugs to work out there's bugs in git git pod and there's a little there's a couple of workarounds that he's um, that he's worked into the that he's worked into the repo that he's got here at um, but it is astonishing and it's tremendously exciting so congratulations over